killed Samson? You might be asking yourself. Delilah or the Philistines? Hmm. In this motivational video, I am going to share with you your greatest enemy. It's the Motivational Christian Lounge where I share all about Christian motivations, sermons, and gospel reviews in order to pass important information to the teaching spoken for inspiration, for knowledge, and for the edification of the spirit, soul, and body. Kindly don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. So, as I was saying earlier, or asked, do you know who killed Samson? Was it Delilah or the Philistines? None of these options are correct. Permit me to tell you how. Even if there were 10,000 Philistine soldiers, they couldn't have defeated Samson. And do you know why? Samson's strength was not of, his, of this world. It was a divine strength. As long as no one can defeat God, no army could have defeated Samson, no matter how strong or many. Samson was raised a terror for the Philistines. He killed a lion with his bare hands, lifted the gate of a city on his shoulders, and walked over 46 miles. He killed 300 Philistines on top of that. The Philistine soldiers with a jaw bone. What if he got a spear or a sword? You may ask yourself. So, who killed Samson? The answer is Samson. Yes, you heard me correctly. Samson killed himself. A man is his greatest enemy. What an enemy cannot do to a man he would do it to himself. Samson, yes, he killed himself. He delivered himself to the lap of Delilah and he used his own mouth to tell the secret of his power. His life promised so much but delivered so little. The Bible says people ruin their lives by their own stupidity. So why does God always get blamed? That is according to Psalms 19, 19 verse 3. Nobody can ruin your life except you do with your own hands. Although you can blame it on God or your parents or the government, you are the architect of your life. You are your greatest enemy. Even if your grandparents had done any evil until you press the trigger it won't explode on your face no satan or which has the power to destroy you no matter how much they hate you you are the only one who can kill yourself by your own actions when the enemies try in vain to kill you they lie in wait and allow you to kill yourself by your own actions. Remember, Goliath the champion couldn't hurt David, but adultery destroyed his family. The gentle nations could hurt Moses, but anger killed him at once. When King Jeroboam stretched his hand against the prophet, his hand dried up. He couldn't hurt him, but his own disobedience turned him to a prey for a lion. So what do I mean? What I mean is that your greatest enemy isn't outside there, but it's in you. Remember that. I can go on and on and give you more examples, but millions are killing themselves with their own mouth by what they eat and drink. Millions die of STD diseases every year. Would you blame a witch for that? No. Hundreds of thousands of divorces and breakups happen every year because people destroy their own marriages and homes with their own hands. 
Like in Proverbs 14, 1 says, Every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish ones tears it down with her own hands. If you fail, don't look far away. Look inwards in you because what's killing you is inside of you. What you yield yourself to will either kill or save you. If you continue yielding yourself to fornication, that's what will kill you, both spiritually or physically. Everyone has a seed of sin deposited in him through this Adamic nature. Always remember that. True repentance kills that seed, but if you don't kill that anger, pride, jealousy, greed, lust, it won't just kill you in the future. It might have been killing you already. That's why no matter how much people die of cancer and diabetes, people won't stop smoking, they won't stop drinking because a man signs his own death warrant. So therefore, children of God, kill that seed before it kills you. Quit that habit now because your greatest enemy isn't a man Mm -mm. or a spirit no or satan (laughs) neither but it is you yes you so i urge you to always remember that your greatest enemy is within you thank you and god bless you That's all for now. If you like such kind of videos, then consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing to your friends. Thank you and bye-bye.